learners and listeners welcome to ni studio today we are going to talk about our next lesson which is lesson number 29 stress and your health as the name suggests we are talking about stress so before beginning about this topic let us give you a situation so that you understand that what is stress for example you have to catch your train at 8 am but your auto is in a traffic jam you just have 20 minutes to travel 5 kilometers your heart beats fast you are sweating grinding your teeth looking frequently at your watch scolding people who are around you you are unable to think clearly what is this this type of situation is a stressful situation when there is a pressure which is building upon your mind the moment you reach the station board the train and take your seat you tend to take a long sigh and then you feel a sort of relief this relief makes you realize the tension you were in the kind of tension is often the cause of stress these days the life has become fast and the pressures are so many that we are in a stressful situation in some or the other way also we are not able to manage our stresses effectively so one should know what are the sources of stress and how to deal with them so in this program we shall be discussing about the concept of stress the various sources of stress and the reactions to towards the stress so the objectives of today's lesson as i discussed are to discuss that what is stress to understand that what are the various reactions that we might give when we are under stress and uh, which is identifying the various types of stress reactions as well as we would also be discussing that what are the ill effects of stress on our health before we begin as i said that we must know that what is the concept of stress how do we understand what is stress as we discussed our last example in which the person was getting late to catch the train we could understand or we could find that there was a psychological pressure that was going on in the person's mind if this gives a very uneasy experience and this takes a toll on your mind and body and depletes your energy so this is what a stress is let us understand the other aspects that are related to stress the stress can be caused by ourselves it can be caused by other individuals who are around us as well as the environment can also be responsible for the stress which one feels let us try to understand that how stress is caused by self let us take up an example suppose a situation uh, which uh, i feel Uh, happens with almost all the students or at least 90% of the students that is the exams are near tomorrow is your exam and you have not uh, uh, you have not studied for the entire year now what you try to do is try to uh, study the whole uh, uh, material of your exam the previous day so what will happen this means that you will not feel confident about each and every topic because it is not possible for something to be grasped grasped in one day which is supposed to be done in the entire year so this gives stress to the individual now as we have taken the last example that how uh, we are under stress when there are exams but try to understand that there are two types of stress one stress is known as u stress and another stress is known as distress now what is u stress it is the positive aspect of stress which means that certain amount of stress is always required to motivate a person towards the goal unless and until you take little amount of stress to uh, complete a particular task you would not be that motivated but yes on the contrary it is also true that if you take too much stress then the stress takes a toll on you your energy and your cognitive capacities and you are not able to perform the task well stress can also be caused by the uh, environment how can stress be caused by the environment suppose that a farmer is ready for harvesting his or her crops but what happens that the crops are getting affected by sudden continuous rain here what is the source of stress it is 
the environment. Other examples of the environmental stress can be air uh, uh, or water pollution, crowding and so many other causes. Stress can also be caused by other persons. We can have n number of examples to understand that how other people can be a sources of can be the sources of stress. For example, some individual wants a promotion, but the uh, promotion is blocked by the management or the organization. So, what will happen? The individual employee will feel stress. Now, the, this is something that we discussed that how stress can be caused by the self, by environment or by other persons who are around us. We must know that what are the various reactions to stress. That means that whenever we are under stress, how do we react? So, there can be uh, three types of reactions to stress. First is your physiological reaction, second is your affective reaction and third is your cognitive reaction. Let us understand the physiological reaction to stress. First of all, what is physiological reaction to stress? Physiological reaction means that how your body responds under the stressful situation. You might have gone through such situation when you are under stress, then what happens that your heart starts pounding very fast, your pulse rate is very high, your muscles become tense, you have a dry mouth and sometimes you feel sick in the stomach, your stomach gets upset and you start trembling. So these are some of the physiological reactions that happens when we are under stress. If the respiratory system is weak, then what happens that the stress affects the respiratory system and this may lead to the problems like asthma. If on the other hand, the digestive system is weak, it may result in the ulcers. There are various symptoms which reflect the effects of stress and that are blood pressure, stomach ache, headache, joint pains, etc. So these were some of the physiological reactions to stress. Let us also understand that whenever we are under stress, what are the affective reaction which means that how our mood gets affected. So what happens that when we are under stress, we feel very anxious. We do not know how to react in a, a given situation. Sometimes we go under depression or we have, uh, we uh, carry lot of anger with us or we might become irritable on small little things. That means we have very poor control over our emotions. We can anytime blast under the effect of stress. Their stress also uh, affects the cognitive functions. So what are the cognitive reactions to stress? This means that whenever we are under a stressful situation, how the mind reacts, how the cognitive, the thinking process reacts. Then as I said, when we were discussing that lot many uh, uh, students, what do they do? They do not study at, till the last time of the exam. So when they try to study everything at the uh, on the previous day of the exam what happens the uh, they have poor concentration because there is too much to understand too much to learn too much to grasp so they have poor concentration they have inability to learn new things with the same speed and efficiency they tend to forget things and confusion also uh, comes in and the students will have uh, unhealthy negative thoughts that is what will happen if I am not able to answer any question in the exam what will I do so these are some of the cognitive reactions that happens when you are under stress physiological affective and cognitive reactions are covert in nature which means that they are not as such visible but what is visible the behavioral reactions that you have when you are under this stressful uh, situation. They are overt. Everyone comes to know fr from your behavior that you are under stress. The behavioral reaction might include crying, irrelevant speech, hitting anything, bashing, etc. When we have understood that what are the, what is the, what is stress and how do we behave when we are under stress? What is our physiology doing? Uh, what are the cognitive, uh, uh, what are the effects on our cognition and what are the effects on our affect, affect 
when we are under stress. We must also know that what are stressors. Now, as the name stre uh, suggests, stressors are the events or the situations to which people react. Stressors can be motivating for some or severely stressful for others. As I said, anything in the environment which gives you pressure can work as a stressor. It can be you yourself, it can be the people around you, it can be the environment. So these all uh, things that are acting upon you and giving you pressure can work as stressors. Let us take up an example of a, a person whose name is Peter. Peter is waiting in a room which is full of graduates for an interview of a reputed job. His academic qualification are not that good but he hopes to get the job by luck and his personality. He feels that his near dear ones will be expecting him to get this high paying prestigious job. He is very nervous, his mouth is dry, stomach is tight with a pounding heart. So what is the stressor in Peter's case? In Peter's case, the stressor is getting the job. So uh, as we were discussing that there are uh, uh, different sources of stress and what are the different stressors that, can, uh, that we can have. So as I said, any event or anything that gives you pressure, psychological pressure, that can be counters, counted as a stressor. So different stressors can include the following which can be boredom, which means that if you are getting too very bored in the workplace, then also it can be counted as stress. The feeling of loneliness can also bring in stress. Frustration, for example, you are not able to achieve your goal, then also you become frustrated. Conflicts, you are not able to decide what to do, whether to take this path or to take the other path, that also causes stress. That is, conflicts are also acting as stressors. Pressure to meet the deadlines. Your boss has given you a deadline to finish a particular task in a 24 hours time. But you have other jobs also to do. So what will you do? You will be under stress. So the pressure to meet deadlines is also working as a stressor. The competition with the people around you. That also acts as a stressor. Increased responsibility. For example, someone is having, a, having one kid. So he is having the he or she is having the parent is having the responsibility of one child, but suddenly the another child comes in the family. So what happens? That brings in the increased responsibility. So that also acts as a stressor. Exertion due to travel. You are too much exerted because you have been traveling too much. So that also brings in stress. So it becomes a stressor. Divorce. Divorce also is a kind of stressor. As we were discussing that what are the different reactions to stress, it can be nausea, nervousness, fatigue which uh, the people display while facing stressful situations. What happens that everyone undergoes a stressful situation almost every day or not even every day, we, uh, it is a general part and parcel of our lives but what happens, the tolerance of individuals varies. Some individual have much willpower to deal with the stresses around them but others do not have that willpower and tolerance. Sometimes stress also acts as a promoter for understanding ourselves. It gives us the opportunity for introspection to understand ourselves, to do better in life. That is what I said that stress can also be positive. Each time we clear a subject. This is an example. We gain self-confidence. What is it? That we can also pass through this kind of situation or the similar kinds of situation. Sometimes experience of disappointments and failures become blessings in disguise that we feel that if I had never go undergone through such a situation, I would have never understood what my capabilities are. So stress also helps us to understand ourselves. That is, stress is not always negative. There can be various sources of stress, which can be your family can also be a source of stress, your occupation or educational uh, uh, qualifications or your education can also be a source of stress 
the personal reasons can also act as stressors and the environment also acts as stressors that we have already discussed. How does the family act as a stressor? Suppose for example, the financial difficulty that happens sometimes in uh, almost all the families, the quarrels between the spouses that uh, becomes a source of stress in the family. How can occupation or the education can be a source of stress that is for example, a student has not studied in his ex uh, for his exams at a proper time, I am repeating it again. How can occupation or education can be a source of stress? For example, it may be the exam stress or staying in the hostel, you are not able to adjust with your roommates, that can also bring in stress. The personal causes of stress can be when somebody feels inadequate. The person is not confident about his or her capabilities, inferior, feeling of inferiority, insecurity, these all the personal issues bring in stress and as we mentioned environment for example the fire, famine, earthquake, tsunami, floods etc. they also brings in, uh, brings in stress. So, these all can be the sources of stress. It is said that 75 percent of the human diseases are caused by stress. When stress increases and become intense, it may be develop, uh, developed into a phobia. What is a phobia? A phobia refers to an irrational fear over an object, person or animal or any situation. A person feels anxious whenever he or she comes across a phobic situation and always tries to avoid them. For example, some of the very common phobias are social phobia, phobia which is uh, for example, stage of uh, stage fear that is the person does not feel confident to face the audience. Another kind of phobia can, can be claustrophobia which means that fear of closed spaces. The person feels phobic to be uh, in the closed spaces. For example, the person cannot bear to be inside the lift for lift for example, anxiety. As we mentioned about the phobia. Anxiety can uh, also uh, occur when we are under stress. What is anxiety? It refers to a very vague feeling of impending danger or threat. Person who are under severe anxiety, they will always be worried, unclear and confused and indecisive. Anxiety may also lead to speech problems like stuttering and stammering. We have discussed lot of things about stress. We discussed about the concept of stress, we discussed about the various reactions of stress and we also discussed about the various types of stresses. Let us also understand that how stress affects our health. First of all, the stress and its relation with the immune system. We have also discussed about this in the previous slides. Let us also, uh, let us try to understand it more. The stress can weaken the immune system which means that our body's reaction to fight with the outside danger becomes weak. Prolonged stress can lead to various kinds of diseases like cancer, heart disease, heart, uh, headache, asthma, etc. What happens to stressed individual? The stressed individuals are more likely to catch cold than the stress free individual. This is a common uh, symptom of the uh, effect of stress on our health. Stress can also lead to hypertension, heart attacks uh, that we uh, uh, come to know uh, from lot of anecdotes that how uh, the person was under stress and how he or she has got a heart attack. Stress are caused due to frustration, intense anger, fear, depression or shock. Stress can also lead to eating disorders which means that whenever you are under stress sometimes you feel like eating too much and sometimes you feel like eating not at all. Stress also leads to sleep disorders, for example, insomnia. The people who are experiencing intense emotions such as anger, jealousy, hatred, fear, panic ulcers, uh, that is also that uh, these are the effects of stress on your health. Intense fear or guilt also leads to some kind of sexual problems. Common stress related problems that we have already discussed are cold and headache. Combination of repeated stress and weakness of particular system leads to psychosomatic diseases. For example, a person gets ulcer when under stress, his st stomach becomes weak. These people do not express their emotions outwardly. They must be asked to learn 
proper ways of expressing emotions outwardly for maintaining good health. These are some of the commonly reported stress related problems. They are experienced by the individual from mild or to moderate level. A less often occurring severe stress disorder is known as post uh, traumatic stress disorder. What is post traumatic stress disorder? The symptoms of post traumatic stress disorder include anxiety, apprehension, chronic stress, sleep disorders like insomnia or nightmares. Post traumatic stress disorder occurs when a person experiences severe stress after a traumatic life threatening experience like accidents, death of near dear ones, rape or sexual harassment etc. We have understood so much about what is stress. We also should know that how stress can be relieved. So stress relief that means whenever an individual is under stress, the individual must consult the psychologist in case of severe stress. Mild to moderate stress can be easily relieved through regular physical exercises, relaxations, meditation and thinking positively. Uh, the techniques such as time management, stress reduction programs are also found to be effective in reducing the stress and giving relief to the individuals. Uh, it is also uh, always recommended that only under high stress uh, situations the person should take medication and that too under the, I am repeating this line again, it is also highly recommended that medication for stress only must be taken when the person is under high level of stress and those medications should be taken under expert supervision only. So dear learners, this was all about today's lesson in which we discussed that what is the concept of stress that is it is a psychological pressure which gives a psychological pain to our mind. There are various uh, reactions to stress. It can be your physiological reaction, it can be your cognitive reaction and it can be your affective reaction. We also discussed that there are different types of stressors. Different types of stressors can be family, can be your occupation, can be yourself or can be environment also. We also discussed that whenever we are under stress, stress affects our health. For example, it affects our immune system. It affects our body's uh, response or the ability to deal with the outside danger. It can also lead to various uh, problems like asthma, hypertension, cancer, heart attacks, etc. At the end of this program, we try to understand that in order to uh, get relief from stress, we must consult the uh, psychologist. Uh, the uh, uh, normal techniques of time management, yoga, uh, mindfulness technique, thinking positively can also help us relieving stress. And uh, at the end of it, uh, we discussed that medication for stress only be taken under high stress uh, situations and that too with expert supervision. I hope that you have understood the topic well. With this, I end up for today's program. Thank you.